Yo, hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. Are you trying to decide between Square and Wix for your website building needs? Both Square and Wix are popular website builders with unique features and functionalities. In this video, I will take you in step by step how you can compare with Square and Wix and to decide which one is the best for you. So let's get started with this comparison. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So how are we going to do that? First, I'm going to open both Square and Works in front of you and then show you the plans and the features and the dashboard itself. So let's start with going to both sides. Here I will open Wix and here I will open Square up. So let's go to this one. And here we go. So first here, let's go to pricing. And the same thing goes for here. So I'm going to go with pricing. I think it's going to be here. I think that. Or else, I don't know what, sh what should it be. So Wix pricing. And here it is, okay. So here are the pricing of Square Up. First, you'll have three main plans, the free one, the plus one, and the premium one, which is the custom one. The free has zero dollar per month. They give you like some really limited features, which are uh, transfer as soon as the next business day, and, and uh, encrypted payments and active fraud prevention. And basically, the like the features that you'll have in this free version are very, very limited. So, for example, click on here for free and you will find all the things that you can really use with free version. So, you will have these things, which are nine things, exactly savings, check-in, customer uh, directory, virtual terminal, and some information that does try really are uh, not really related with the website itself. So, here you don't really know which kind of features you will have in each kind of uh, version. In fact, if you want to Wix and you want to do their plannings, so let's choose for example this one to upgrade. It will have all the details that possibly need in case you'd like to add any kind of plans. So they didn't mention here the free version. They have a free version with all like the necessary features of edited website. Here, some extra features that you can get if you paid extra money. Let's start with the free or the actual ship version which is the 4.5 per month so this one will give you a custom domain remove Wix branding you don't really have it free domain for one year you don't really have it but you'll get a free SSL certificate so in case you had your own domain you bought it from another hosting and you got it through here connected it you'll get with it a free SSL certificate so your website will no longer be an HTTP it will turn to be an HTTPS so it will be secured and confidential which is really really important in your website here the bandwidth you will have one gigabyte and 500 for store space and for video hours you will have none and some extra information you will have here and you can compare everything by your own self as you can see here you can go through it by your own eyes so the screen take a screenshot or go and visit the website here the 8.5 the 12.5 and the 24.5 so each one of, the, of these are really good and they're not really that expensive affordable really affordable especially if you were going for like the annual plans you will have to pay even less than that which is really really good and as you saw here this is only the website plans you will have business and e-commerce plans and enterprise plans so this is really really amazing so this is if we say it is related with uh, square up so we have like exit payments, plant and requiring payments, uh, fields perform, some space. Um, if you went down a little bit here, you'll have subscriptions, uh, abundant cart recovery, sale on marketplace. So these are some features that you don't, you won't really find in here, even on the premium version, which is a custom one. So I think Wix has the upper hand in this case. And for the enterprise plans, here it is. The same as the custom one which is over here uh, just 
like both work the same way you just have to contact them and just like that they will try to give you the best kind of plan that your enterprise will need of course you will not contact them unless you are looking for something special that is not existing in the previous plans now let's go and compare the dashboard of both uh, like platforms so this is kind of like Wix uh, dashboard uh, here it is as simple as you think you will have your all website that you have created and here you will be able to create new sites so it is as simple as that in the other case this is square app um, dashboard so basically as you can see here it is kind of complicated you don't really know where to go in case you'd like to actually create a new site so i will give you five seconds and try to look around to find where you have to create a new website so here it is one two three four and five you didn't find it well in case you thought it is a website then you are wrong that's what i thought in the first place so here you only can edit the site and the domains you don't really have to edit like create a new site in case you'd like to create a new site you have to go to here to the name and here you'll find all the sites and create a new one so it is not really that obvious for you to find this is like a down spot for me but on the other side there is multiple analytics multiple like things that are really important which they don't really exist in here for example here we'll have page views unique visitors uh, page views per visit uh, some statistics some things that are really good here the photo studio communication marketing report so these are things that you might not find in wix at the moment we are still at the moment because we didn't even get to the dashboard where you can actually see each site in the main details this is like the home page where you can see all your sites and create sites which are the most important step because you will not create a site without going to the site section and by site so now let's get to uh, Wix dashboard which is simply you can go for example to here and go to your site and select it so guys let me just click and select as any site from here I'm going with this one for example and this is the dashboard of the site itself so here find activity site apps forum blog event subscription loyalty program shared gallery contact automations which is the most unique thing that you not would not find it anywhere else so basically these automations are basically some automation as you can hear it so what it does for example when a client does x e, uh, y shall be happening so this is for example thank you visitor so when a form is submitted you send an email um, guess who uh, RSVP I don't know what is this we'll send an email uh, get new visitors with the chat message so send the chat message uh, set coupon to a visitor who submitted a form and then guests who purchased tickets and much more so there is infinite amount of um, automation and you can create your own automation from clicking on start from scratch so this is something that you will not find in any other website builder other than Wix so overall as you saw till now it is so obvious which one is the better for me I really prefer Wix over Square App it has so many features and so many kind of stuff that you can use in case you'd like to go much further and go really really far away with your business so thank you guys with for your uh, staying till now i hope you choose the same thing which is wix because as you saw it is really really better uh, in the domain of like price and the features and utilities so thank you guys for watching see you guys in the next video